Hi everyone, it's Veta here with Yaveta Home, and today we're going to try out this juicer that I got. I got this juicer for my birthday about a week and a half ago, and I am going to try to use it. This is my second time filming this video, so if I seem a little exhausted, it's because I am. Um, so we're gonna get started. I've already unboxed the juicer, as you can see. It comes with the waste basket. It comes with this right here, I think is what you push the vegetables and fruit down with. It comes with, let's see, this. This right here, which is the cap for the juice. It comes with the pitcher. And it's very easy. It was like actually in total, let's count the parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a brush, seven. So this goes on like this. You snap the blade in like that. This just snaps on very easily. I say that, okay, there we go. This goes under here. This snaps in place like such the picture goes over here Let's make sure all right there's the picture in place there's two settings there is an on I mean I'm sorry there is a low and a high um, this is the Brevel the juice fountain code so let's talk about the vegetables I have. I have beets, I have carrots, I have celery, I also have ginger, lemon, and I have an apple for some sweetness. I've already taken the stem off the apple because that's what they said you needed to do uh, as much as possible. So I've done that and I've already washed all of my fruit. Let's see how this thing works. So I've already pulled all of the major part of the beets off. So let's put the beet, we're going to turn it on low. in the apple and I'm still doing all of this on low I hope you guys can hear me okay so it was a little messy when I did the apple We're going to try some carrots. of ginger All right, 
So what I do know from last time is that the previously filmed video that I needed to cut the celery. So we're gonna cut the celery in smaller pieces. And I did have to take all the stems off the carrots and the, um, because it just wasn't working properly. The carrots and the beets. spout now what I can tell you is this pitcher is a little tight so I don't know if I like that too much all right let's see it's a little thick We need another apple or something in here. It's a little bitter, but it tastes like sweet beet juice with a little bit of celery. It's not too bad. All right, so let's talk about the juicer itself. I was torn between the Brevel, the Juice Fountain Cold, and the Juice Fountain Cold Plus. They didn't have the Cold Plus in store, so I opted for this one. This one was about $1.99. I believe at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, so in the waste can, you can see that there's plenty of waste from the fruit. So that's that. Inside here, it's pretty clean. Let's take a look and we unsnap. Uh -oh. It's a little bit of waste in the cap. So it's not that bad. It looks like it'll be a pretty easy cleanup, so that's good. Would I recommend this juicer? Um, now, I did mix a lot of different things together, so I was just trying to see how it was going to blend the beets, the carrots, the celery, the apple, and uh, ginger and lemon. So I just was trying to see if we would juice all of those things, not necessarily trying to make a cocktail, if you will, or a juice drink for that specific combination. But on a scale from one to 10, uh, being easy to put together, I would give it a 10. Durability, I would give it a seven. And this right here, uh, the pitcher, I would give this probably a seven and a half, eight, only because it's nice, it's big, it holds, I think it says two liters worth of juice. It recommends that when you juice, you only leave it in the refrigerator for three days. So I think that's plenty. Um, but I don't know if I wanna try out the Brevel Juice Fountain Plus. And if so, I'll let you guys know. Uh, it wasn't that hard to use, but it wasn't as easy as I thought either. So on a scale of one to 10, overall, I would give it a seven try it out in the comments below. If you would recommend a specific juicer, please comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and until next time, you're victorious every day through today's anything. Thank you, bye.